Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome to another Quixel Mixel tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look at using multiple materials inside of Quixel Mixer. Now, in the previous video, or in the other one, uh, we used a material ID, which we had to bake out, and then you know we could basically effectively use one material. But what if you want multiple texture sets? uh inside of you know unreal or whatever and you just want to assign multiple textures like say you've, instead of having like one big 2048 you want like say four 1024 textures or three or something like that well it's actually really easy to do so um all you need is a model and once again i'm gonna be using my good buddies nick's uh little brace wall here and the first thing you need to do is you just need to create your base uh, material. And it can be any color you want or anything like that. I'm just going to reuse the ones from before. So uh, make sure, hold Z, and make sure you are in the material preview. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is I'm going to hit 3 on the numpad. And we're going to go into edit mode. And then I'm going to hit alt Z to go into x-ray mode. And then I'm just going to try and select as few uh, pieces as possible. I'm going to hit Alt-Z. And then I'm going to go back through here. And I'm just going to select any old pieces that I didn't select. I didn't select very many. Didn't do a very good job with that select. Probably should have done a better job. Okay. And now I'll just go over here and add a new material slot. And then I'll just assign the orange panel and then hit assign. And then just look around real quick, make sure we got it right. Now, the nice part about this is that um, we uh, don't have to bake anything out. But you do have to deal with multiple textures. So do keep that in mind. And we'll do an Alt-C there. Oh, I see you. And we'll just assign the orange pixel. Oh, sorry, orange panel, not orange pixel. Oh, almost missed that. Okay. And now we'll just grab these parts here and assign and we'll hit three again and we'll go into alt z here i'm gonna go on ahead and uh, add my material my new material slot and this will be for the vents now the color of these materials can be anything you want them to be so don't be afraid to you know just make them you know basically whatever color you want you can make them like i said any color you like uh it doesn't really matter Okay, and then I'll just assign that, make it a little easier to see if we missed one. We did. Okay. Hit 3 again. Go back, hit Alt-Z. Hit B to do with my little box select there. And I'm just going to go ahead and assign that and hit Alt-Z. And I'll just go through and assign everything. And then I'll just clean it up, which doesn't look like I actually really hit that much. Oh, 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 I missed one. Okay, so now the texture looks to be largely done, um, which is fantastic. Now, uh, in this particular model, these portions here are not actually used at all. Uh, so I'm not going to bother with them uh, like not unwrapping as far as that goes. So now what we're going to do is something that we can do now because, again, we're going to be using multiple texture sets. Uh, so we're going to go into UV Edit here, and I'll just close out of the Material ID. And then what I'll do is, is I will select the concrete here. I'll make sure everything's deselected. And then when the first texture, which for me is concrete, I'll select it. And then I'm just going to deselect these portions here because they're not going to be used. They're not going to be seen by the player. Uh, and like this piece right here actually has another piece that connects up to it. So we don't actually need it 
to be uh, visible. And now what we'll do is just right click. Sorry, not right click. We'll hit U. And then Smart UV Project, Scale to Bounds, put a bit of a margin there, and then we'll just hit OK. And now we will deselect it, and we'll select the orange pixels, and we're just going to do the exact same thing. This will give us a lot of uh, texture density here. And then we'll select our vent, and we'll do the exact same thing. Okay. Now, in the last video, of course, like I said, we had to bake out. But in this one, all we have to do is File, Export, FBX. And I will just call this wall1 underscore multiple. And then we'll just export. And you might want to make sure selected objects is selected. Or, you know, if you only have... Um, cause like you don't want to export like the camera and stuff like that. If you happen to have it, uh, you just want your model exported and we'll hit export FPX and then we'll go into mixer. We'll make a new mix. We'll call this one wall one underscore multiple. And the working resolution will be 1024 by 1024. And we'll hit okay. And now what we'll do is we'll go into model settings, custom model. We'll select our wall one multiple FBX. Our, for our texture sets, we're going to select from materials. And you'll have to give it a second as it generates everything. And you can see the texture density is very different uh, than before. You can see it by how this is tiled. And now, how do we actually do this? Well, over here, you have this lovely little button called add a layer set. And we're going to add three layer sets. And we're going to name this one matte underscore concrete. And you might want to give them probably, you know, different names. I mean, you can, like I said, you know, you can change the uh, the names after you export them or even before. If you go back to setup here and you go into the texture sets editor, um, it, it'll have the name in there. You can change all of this. Uh, now, another thing that you'll probably uh, notice is if you're in uh, this view and you have this look and... You know, anytime you change, like, let's let's make one more really quick little thing here. Uh, orange panel, we'll assign this to the orange panel. Vents, we'll assign to vents. All right. Now you'll notice that when you go through, you have like this like fuzzy gray where like it focuses on, say, this particular portion right here. When I'm in the panels, it focuses on the panels. This little button right here, active area focus or hotkey A, you can turn this on and off. I'm gonna leave it off for this tutorial. Okay, so for the concrete, I'm just gonna select a surface. And I'm gonna select concrete. And I'm gonna do a rough texture. The, well, the rough concrete. And you'll see here that much like if you were using a material ID, uh, it only assigns to that specific area. However, it is its own 1024 by uh, 1024 texture, rather than being built on one big 2048 by 2048 texture. And now we'll grab the vents. And much like before, I'm just going to assign some random textures to it. And then for the orange panel, we'll do the exact same thing. Nice rusted metal sheet, I suppose. Oh, perfect. Okay, so um, again, you know, this is not a tutorial on how to actually texture inside of Quixel, just how to set up the texture sets so that then you can go and texture. And you'll notice that this is kind of messed up and this is very kind of bleh. But again, uh, doesn't really matter all that much because those particular uh, textures will never be seen. And there's no use texturing something that will never be seen. But as you can see, the surface area that we are using is actually very nice. It's uh, much smaller of a texture, but three separate textures. And if you like, if you wanted to, you know, you could change, say, the scale of the uh, texture or anything you like, all individually, of course. I'm just going to set that back to one. And now what we do is we just go export, and we'll just select this placement here. And you will also see because we don't want the displacement. We want to set the export to disk size to be 1024. And another thing you can do is, so like, you know, if you make a change to one material, you know, and you don't want to export all of them again, you can just uncheck whatever it is you're not using. 
and it will make a folder called wall one underscore multiple and we'll just go ahead and export to disk and you'll see down here it'll do it three times and now it's on the orange pixel and if i go over to mixer we can see wall one multiple and you can see all of our textures are in there and from here we can channel pack edit you know put them in godot unity blender sorry unreal pretty much any tool that you want that supports PBR will work well with this method. And yeah, highly recommend you uh, channel pack, by the way. It's a really good idea to channel pack. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Uh, in the next one, part three, we'll look at using UDIMs and the differences between them and the material sets will become very apparent. So I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that little bell, you know, if you want these notification updates. If not, just hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel, uh, you can do so by becoming a member and, or just, you know, sharing the videos around, tweeting them, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. The other thing, uh, if you would like to support the channel, you can become a member, get early access to videos, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.